Hi, I'm Andrew. This is my wife, Sarah. We're from Robazonia, Pennsylvania. We actually found out about this house through a, a neighbor that was looking to sell it. It was an old farmhouse from the 1800s. Um, it had a lot of history. I've always wanted a stone farmhouse, and as soon as we walked in, we just knew. Like, it just felt like home, even though it needed a lot of work. It was perfect for us. It really turned out great. Then Valentine's Day 2022 occurred, and we had a horrible house fire here. None of us were home at the time. They had six fire companies here. The roof caved in with firefighters on the roof. Nothing could prepare you for walking into a house after a house fire. It just, it didn't look like the same place. We lost all of our pets, lost all of our belongings, and we were displaced. Sorry. The insurance company came in to check the house. They said it, it can most definitely be fixed if you can find the right builder to do it. We really went back and forth. It was emotional, but in the end, like this was our home and we just felt we needed to fix it instead of just leveling it and starting over. I just felt confident with Brecknock Builders. We approached Brecknock. They thought they had a good stonemason that could handle this. So it took three months to clean this up to get it to the point where they could start building. It went fast. They had all the right people working on it. We weren't really sure of the condition of the stone on the house with it being 170 years old. When we took the wood siding off, we found brick patches above every one of the windows on the second floor. Our stonemason replaced all the brick patches. You can't tell that it was ever any different. We updated it and made it a little bit more functional for our family, but we wanted to keep as much of the character as we could. This is a den that we decided to, to build. Brecknock was able to raise the roof four feet. Originally, the room above the kitchen wasn't finished. It was just kind of a storage area. Uh, this is by far probably the most used room in the house. It's a nice area to watch movies and hang with the kids kitchen portion of the house had so much character. It was definitely the focal point of the home. And uh, there, were, there were a lot of questions as to if this kitchen area could be rebuilt. Originally, this was all covered with wood paneling. After the fire, it all got burned off and the beam was, was scorched really, really bad. And luckily it wasn't structurally compromised, but um, there were some concerns if we could even save it. Stonemason actually walnut blasted this to get it clean. We're very happy with how it turned out. So it came up multiple times through the project that it would be great if we could be home for Christmas. There were guys working on their days off to make sure that we didn't fall behind. The, the week of Christmas here was crazy. We had woodworking guys here doing molding. We had flooring guys here in the same house at the same time doing flooring. Um, we had furniture delivery guys here. We even had uh, HVAC guys finishing up the central air stuff. Brecknock really pulled out the stops to try to get us home. And it was great waking up Christmas morning and opening up presents with the kids after, you know, after such a traumatic event. Um, it was great. I just was really impressed with everybody that was here. The work ethic was outstanding. They would be here before light some days, working until dark. They treated this place, the property, as if it was their own. For us, it was, a, uh, it was a godsend that we were able to find a builder that was so capable. They made the process very easy. I think it turned out 
way better than if I would have tried to make all the decisions on my own without that guidance. It feels good to be home and just where we're supposed to be.